Caitlin, good evening. Quishea Aronchek was joined today by her attorney, Ron Benjamin, and members of the Broome County Tioga chapter of the NAACP. Her team alleges on March 20th, she was pulled over while driving back from her grandmother's house by an unmarked police car on State Street. Her attorney says an officer pulled her out of the car, despite passengers in the vehicle explaining that Aronchek was pregnant and body slammed her onto the hood of the vehicle. Caitlin Scott, good evening. This past Wednesday, state lawmakers passed legislation to allow the Binghamton Unified School District to access two times their multi-year cost allowance in a five-year period for the computation of building aid for a construction project to improve Theodore Roosevelt Elementary School. Caitlin Scott, good evening. Catalytic converters have been one of the most targeted car parts during the past couple of years, and their theft is causing car owners both headaches and thousands of dollars. Caitlin Jill, good evening from the west side of Binghamton. That suspect still at large tonight. Residents that we spoke to today in the area say they are taking precautions after these recent break-ins. The Binghamton Police Department is currently investigating this string of break-ins. They have a description of the suspect. He is a light-skinned male with a bushy beard and a slender frame. Anyone with any information is advised to contact the BPD's bureau. That number is 607-772-7080. Reporting live from the west side of Binghamton, Keith Joganatis, 12 News.